Who are you and what have you done with Philip? This is the weirdest start to the day. Philip and I can't sleep. This never happens. No, 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 let me look outside the window. I want to go for a walk quickly. Because look. <gasps> no, you're right. It's beautiful. So you're coming on my waddle? Yes. I don't know what's got into Philip. He's been forcing me out of the room so fast. I'm bleary eyed, barely aware of what's happening. There's Philip's precious baby. You look like a vampire, by the way, today. Thank you. Come on, walkies. Well, maybe Philip had a point. It is a pretty lovely morning to be out and about. But it's quite chilly. It almost feels a bit frosty. I'm not sure about this autumn business. All of Lalande is still slumbering, except for the cockerels. Ah, oh, and the cows. They're up too. At least I've got my warming ginger tea with me. Much needed right now. Maybe I'm coming around to Philip's idea of loving autumn. But now we've been caught by Natty. She says that some of the guests are about to leave, so we're coming to say goodbye. Top up of tea before anything else. Actually, the smell of coffee is pretty good. That might get me to change my mind. How are you? Very good. How are you, Natty? Very well, thank you. And <laughs> how is everyone? Very happy, but having breakfast but a little bit sad because they're leaving soon. Oh, I don't like it when people leave. Yeah, they're all having breakfast there. I'll go say hi. Marie's mother and sister are coming from Norway. I'm not sure if it's November or December, but anyway, before Christmas, and they're going to teach us loads of Norwegian stuff. Yeah, so they're going to teach us some Norwegian stuff. And then the first is a ginger house expert. She makes a beautiful ginger house. The morning walk is one of the most beautiful aspects of the day here now, and I feel as though I'm bonding with with Leland in a new way, getting out into nature like that. But what you didn't see in my footage is that I bonded to nature in a whole new, unexpected way. Because as you saw, I went out along the road and then I came back via the woods. And there was a point when Philip left me to go and take the drone footage. And for that half an hour, I decided to take a little shortcut into the woods and I got stuck in a bramble patch. So that is now my leg. I am covered in scratches. I couldn't film it because I had my skirt bundled up in my arms. I had my headscarf, which is really long, in my mouth to try and get it out of the brambles. With every step, the brambles were literally to my knees. With every step, I was trying to flatten them. Philip's a bit cross now that he's seen my legs. Anyway, lesson learned. Next time, stick 
to the parts. They're there for a reason. So I had a quick shower and get dressed again now. You two look weirdly busy. We are always busy. We are busy. Yeah, we are very exceptional, very busy. But that's your second part of drone in a day? Yes. What's happening? I've charged them. <laughs> I've got spare battery. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And restarting my uh, old series, Maria Vick's Diary. So oh, nice! We're going to do, um, some really nice shots for the intro. So yes. starting strong. Oh, big day! Yeah. Okay, good luck with it. Thank you. Um, I can't wait to bring uh, Philip into the forest to take some shots yeah. and then through the cut flower field. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Seriously, forest twice in one day, Philip. Yeah. Steady on. <laughs> I do have one question. You know, you said you'd made me a cup of tea and you'd left it in here. Yeah. Is so this uh, what you meant? Mm -hmm. I boiled the kettle and then I did that and then I got chatting to Amory about one of the renovation projects and then I went upstairs to edit and I might have forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the tea, darling. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's like the, the third cup of tea I'm making you today. I need a lot of tea. It fuels me. But I feel... It, mm. And I need Marmite. I need so many things in my life right now. Tea Marmite, and Marmite. Tea do not what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Who needs Marmite? I need Marmite. Not food. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Good luck. Three, two, one. It's like a video one. game. <laughs> it does sound like it. Where's the drone, hun? Because I hope I'm not in the background holding a phone sinisterly in the window. Yeah, well, That's so nice. Just moving this. Okay, I think it's fine. See you later. Love you. Love you. We are upstairs in the glamorous attic bathroom, which has looked like this for the last oh, 10 odd years. Was that kind of originally you wanted as a kitchen? Yeah, they were going to have this as their apartment, which is why then it wasn't finished. And I love the tower bathroom. That's really, really pretty. I think it's just Murray using it at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's so cute with the bath, but there's no sink. So no, we want to sink. Yeah, she has to brush her teeth in the bath. So what's the plan? So we're thinking, where can we put the sink in here? And this is the obvious place. We've got totally dead space here. The loo is opposite just here, and then we have the bath through there. So we're thinking of having a counter along here, maybe back to about there, with the sink in it and cupboards underneath, and then the entire bit around it mirrored to make it seem as big as possible and then perhaps have a little cupboard to the side so we can access a little bit of storage for the bathroom. So that's the plan. Kevin's coming to see Philip about it later. They're going to liaise. We think we might change this wall so it's completely straight because that would give us storage on the other side as well from the bedroom that's being created. So here We'll have a wall coming along here and then along here so that there can be a door to the bedroom on this side, a door to the bathroom on the other side. And then we just need to decide whether we have the bed perhaps around here and then we can't get into this storage or whether we have a cupboard coming from this way with another door here coming through and the bed starting there. So we've got a few little bits and pieces to decide on exactly how this is going to be configured but basically this is the bedroom and that's the bathroom and Kevin's coming in about half an hour to see Philip so that they can start discussing how it has to be done. And then we can take the uh, radiator out. Yes. And put that radiator into here. Great. Is there already a radiator? There's one in here but it's the attic's the coldest it's part It's so of the freezing up here. So it'd be good to have two radiators. Are you keeping this? Yes. I think, that, I think that's a really useful little wardrobe in here, actually. We have all the wallpaper that we need to finish off the bathroom afterwards. And we've got a rail. I'm sure we've got a mirror somewhere as well. Oh, is that your chimney? Yes, of the oh, bathroom. Okay, makes sense. It just needs to be titivated a little bit. Titivated. I love you titivating things, Amory. Okay, makes sense. You do know though, some of the floorboards have to come up. Yeah. And we don't know exactly where the bend is on that waist. Okay. I, it could be, if it's going straight down, then mm. it days. We're heading out to the storage barn because we actually have a washstand and we're wondering if maybe it would fit in there. It's one that we haven't used. It's marble topped. Maybe it could just slot into that little space and we wouldn't need to get a new one. Well, I think that could do. Okay, just might be a bit too wide for the space. This is actually a very good idea, Amory, if it fits. 
Okay, we've measured it. It's 163 tall and it's a metre wide. So do you remember the depth actually? <laughs> Thank goodness someone was concentrating. It's quite 50 deep. Yeah, it's good. Ten. That's perfect. Meters there. Okay, so that takes us up to about here. How far? Yeah. I think we're okay. Yeah, I'll go in. Keep it fun. Oh, there you go. Shall you we crack open the champagne? But then... That's saved a lot of money. On veut regarder juste par là. Ouais. C'est par ici. Oui, donc il faut que j'enlève parce que ça va être utilisé pour l'enlève plus haut. C'est ça. Ok. Et du coup, ça, ça, ça faut le laisser. Oui. Parce que ça, ça reste. Hein. Oui. Mais pas ça. Pas, pas ça. Oui, c'est ça. Et... On va trouver le lit et voir la taille du lit oui. où est-ce qu'on pourra le mettre. Voilà. Ouais, un lit XXL, ça. Ah. Ça. <rire> I'm leaving them to it upstairs because. I have an epic pile of bills to pay. So my job for the next hour is sitting here doing admin. What is happening? You're cooking. I am cooking. Well, I luckily had Marie as my sous chef, so she already prepared some things because I was still working. Aww. It's one of my favorite recipes to make. I've tweaked it a little bit. But, Ooh, yeah. that scares me. I have messed up on the rice already a little bit, but you know what? Well, specifically the shallots actually, which are in there. I think my uh, butter to shallot ratio is off, but you know what? We're just going to go with it. It's going to be fun. I am very sorry for any people who have got rice as part of their national cuisine. Um, I'm sorry. I'm look doing, away now. Yes, look away now. This tastes very good to my Dutch taste buds. So, <laughs> Lucky don't come us. for me in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> and then I need to add some lime juice as well. I think the rice is cooked. It looks perfect. I think my whole um, fiasco with the shallots did not, you know. <laughs> and that looks good, I think. So, and there's lime and, and parsley. And I love the and table. Wine. Thank you. I only have four of these plates, so it's only the four of us tonight. I thought, yeah. Okay. I, I also have only got four of these glasses. JJ, it's our initials. Yes. With uh, thistles and roses. So there's love and, and fidelity. fidelity. So I thought that was quite nice. I'll call the others and sit down for dinner. So for now, à demain.